Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to start lesson 9 of English Grammar Class 6. Today's lesson is about direct and indirect speech. Actually, uh, direct speech is the exact words that a person uses while he or she is talking to someone. So, we are going to read the text first. Here two examples are given. Did you go to carnival? Maddie asked Rita. Second, she said, My parents are going to Amsterdam. The two sentences above are examples of direct speech. Direct speech is the exact words a person uses while talking to someone. When we have to show the actual words of the speaker, we put speech marks called quotation marks around the spoken words. There is a comma after said and a capital letter is used to begin the sentence between speech marks. Well, one thing is clear that when we describe the exact words of a person, like she said, my parents are going to Amsterdam. Here, the speech is enclosed in the quotation marks or inverted commas. And a comma is used to put after the said. And we start the speech with capital letter. But very often when we try to convey the message of the speaker in our own words, we don't use the exact words that were spoken. Such messages are said to be in indirect speech. Like in the above example, if we can see that she said, my parents are going to Amsterdam. And when we will convert this statement into indirect speech, it will be like that. She said, that her parents were going to Amsterdam. Here we can see uh, we can see that there are no speech marks and when we report someone's words in indirect speech. When we convert direct speech into indirect, then we omit the inverted commas. Like here you can see the inverted commas, but in indirect speech Inverted commas are omitted and we have inserted the conjunction or uh, mostly we used to add that. Now come to the bottom. Here you have to complete them by adding the missing words. Like he said, I am very tired. And we have to fill up the blanks. Like he said that he was very tired. Joseph said, I am going to town to see a movie. Joseph said that he was going to town to see the movie. Sarah said, I got up early in the morning to go for a walk. Sarah said that she got up early in the morning to go for a walk. They said, we have a holiday tomorrow. They said that they have, they had a holiday the next day. Jenny said, horses are my favorite animals. Jenny said that horses were her favorite animals. The old woman said, there is a big rat in the house. And when we convert it into indirect speech, it will be, the old woman said that there was a big rat in the house. Here some bullets are given and you have to learn all these very carefully because these are really important. Let us study some of the changes we made when we narrate the speaker's words in indirect speech. When we convert direct speech into indirect, we have to follow some rules like no speech mark in indirect speech. Instead, we use connecting words like sad, informed, or told. As I have already told that, we used to omit the inverted commas and we mostly insert that or any other kind of conjunction like informed, told, inquired, or... Um, if, whether, as it is needed, right? The sentence changes into past tense. Every time sentence changes into past tense. First person pronouns like I, we change into third person. Like you can see over here. He said, I am very tired. If first person, it will convert into, he said that he was very tired. You know, we are using the second person. Joseph said, I am going to the town to see the movie. Joseph said that he was going, right? Now, 
the verbs change into their corresponding past form. Simple present will change into simple past and present continuous will change into past continuous. Again, if we have um, simple present tense in direct form, then it will convert into simple past. And if we have present continuous, it will convert into past continuous tense. Reporting questions. When we report in questions, we use words like asked, wanted to know, inquire. And when we are asking something, when we change uh, any type of question statement into you know, indirect form, then we will use the word like they wanted to know, inquired, asked, wonder, and if. We have two different examples like Harry asked, what time does your train leave? Uh, when we will convert it into indirect, it will be like Harry wanted to know what time the train left. So we can um, say one thing that whenever we change any indirect speech, any uh, direct speech into indirect speech, few changes take place. Like when we are uh, changing a direct sentence into indirect, there are actually two types of questions, right? Those beginning with question codes, like we have an example here, right? Uh, he, Harry asked, what time does your train leave? That kind of sentences, these are joined by the question words and not by the that. And sometimes uh, any question, any type of question which starts with helping verb. In, there we insert if or whether instead of that. Like I have an example for you. He said to me, have you a book? Here we have helping verb have. It will convert into he asked me if I had a book. Well, students, when we convert a direct speech into indirect, some certain adverbs of place and time, they also change into more distant ones to suit the past tense, like uh, now converts into then, here into there, ago converts into before, today converts into that day, tomorrow, the next day, yesterday will change into the previous day or the ne uh, next week we convert into the following week now come to the practice you have to write them in indirect speech using the word told as shown in the example well we have an example like brian said to me i have completed one month of service today it will change into Brian told me that I will convert into he that he had completed one month of service that day. Like today is converted into that day. Now we have three statements and uh, you have to do it like this one. You have to write down it in your copies. When said to me. I have made many friends in my new school. It will change into when told me that she had made many friends in her new school. Mother said to me, the cat chased the mouse. Mother told me that cat chased the mouse. Here you can see that um, inverted commas are omitted and we have joined the sentence by using the word that. Katy said to him, I have given my name for the dance competition. It will change into Katy told him that she had, have will convert into had, that she had given her name for the dance competition. Now turn the next page. Next question is Bob is reading. Greg's letter and reporting the same to his friend as he reads it. Read the message and then and write them in indirect speech in your notebook. One example has been done for you. Right. Bob is reading actually Greg's letter and we have to convert 
like first example is given like Paris is a fantastic city and we will change it like Greg says Paris is a fantastic city one thing which you have to keep in mind is that when the reporting verb it is in present tense then there will be no change on the tense of the reporting reported speech right if the reporting verb if this part is called greg says it is called reporting verb uh, where says or said is mentioned and the rest of the sentence which is enclosed in inverted commas that part is called reported speech when the reporting verb is in present form there will be no change in the tense of the sentence like my sister likes this place too we will convert it like greg says my sister likes this place too second one we are planning to see the eiffel tower tomorrow it will change like greg says we are planning to see the eiffel tower the next day tomorrow we will convert into next day the rest of the three are very easy you have to write down in your copies by doing doing your own you have to make no change in the present tense if the reporting verb is in present there will be no change in the reported speech now we have to write the following questions in indirect speech but some questions are given and you have to convert them in indirect speech I have done you have to write it in your copy like this you have to write down the statement and then the first one when will you come back Mandy asked Tom in bracket some words are given you have to use wanted to know so we will convert it into indirect like this Tom wanted to know when Mandy will come back as I have already told you that in, when we are making any question statement into converting it into indirect then we will use only the question tag like when what but we are not going to use any conjunction like that who is your favorite author Nelson said to Max Nelson asked Max who his favorite author was again we are starting it with the who Nodi said to Roni who do you think is going to win the match it will convert into like this. Nodi asked Roni who was going to win the match fourth one D Mr. David asked Henry how long have you been living here Mr. David inquired Henry how long he had been living there. Joseph said to his friend, did you get my watch repaired? And we will change it like Joseph wanted to know if his friend got his watch repaired. In the sixth one, Rita said, will he like me? It will convert into Rita wondered if he liked her. Here, um, reported speech is starting with will, which is helping verb. So, as I have already told that when we will start the speech with helping verb, we will insert only if or whether. So, we have changed it, changed it like Rita wondered if he liked her. Lesson is done. Thank you.